Hi there, welcome back. Today we're going to start a brand new season of Superstore, um, season three. Uh, I just noticed the title, Grand Reopening. I think I actually said them, those exact words in terms of what this episode is going to be like in the outro to that finale, which was really great. Um, yeah, so we'll see if Marcus has still got a job or not. I think, like I said, I think I said during the outro that probably all the people fired, or at least the main people we know, um, will be needed for this reopening because, you know, it's a big event, isn't it? And all hands on deck, so to speak. So, yeah, I'm hoping so because I really like Marcus. I'll be disappointed if he's not in it anymore, but there's still plenty of characters to keep this show funny. So, you know, it won't be too bad. But, yeah, I really liked his character. Well, I'm, I'm talking in the past now, like he's gone, but I really liked his character and I'm hoping he's still in it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Let's get to it. Last season on Superstore. Of course. Anytime. Oh, that was a really heartbreaking Jonah's reaction there. Okay. I thought they'd be ready with it. It's still building. I hope you all had an oh. amazing vacation. Just putting the finishing vacation, touches. You mean the two months we were laid off without pay? Uh, without pay. <laughs> Accurate. A lot of soul searching since the tornado. Oh yeah, I bet. He's no longer Christian. Raising some big questions for me. Questions <laughs> like... Questions that... Why did the tornado <laughs> hit us? Why did it stop when I You're played in its path, Allah? Ben. <laughs> Allah and Jesus are the same God. This is totally mess, Glenn, up. <laughs> but with varying responsibilities. This is God, Glenn. He's trying to tell you something. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm trying to spot Marcus. Anyone else have thoughts on that? And Brett as well. Where's Brett? Okay. Did he get sucked up? <laughs> no one gives a shit. <laughs> Was that a 20 minute walk? Oh, I didn't see Marcus. I don't think everyone was there though. In a way, you're officially trailer trash now. <laughs> well, I am living in a trailer, so. <laughs> Admits it. Admits it. Why don't you move into Garrett's apartment? No! No! <laughs> no. <I> mean... <laughs> Nah. I I would. I would love that, but I would never I would never impose. But I mean it wouldn't be a problem. You should have admitted that. I, I thought you had a two bedroom. No, it's not. Ah, okay, sure. <laughs> when you use a wheelchair, you need multiple bedrooms. Oh why? Safety. Excuse me. Safety. <laughs> Try and stitched him up there. Oh shit. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh revenge! <laughs> it's gonna be awkward for a while. We we never talked about the. Do we have? I don't to? think she wants. Oh to. yeah, no. I mean, I I'd rather not. If you don't need to. No, I don't. I don't. Well, clearly, you'd rather yeah, not. Yeah, no, I don't need to either. No, yeah, no. same, 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 same. It's not awkward. Yeah, it's no, fine. That's fine. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> you you are fine. I am super I mean, fine. fine. You're fine. Marcus. Marcus! Hey. Everybody. Cool. Hey, listen, I've been thinking we should kick Mateo out of the friend group. <laughs> what friend group, Marcus? I'll see you today at three. Oh, why are you coming at three? For the opening. <laughs> week before the grand opening on the 28th. Today's oh. the 28th. A week before the grand opening on the 28th. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is confusing. No, bring back the staff a week before. The grand opening on the 28th. Oh, he didn't say it like that. What we're gonna do? Maybe I would. Maybe yeah. I would say it like that. <laughs> Yo, good luck in He's invitated Dina now. I'm with Dina though. That made sense. Otherwise, it would say all the grand opening on the 28th. Right? What if we just set up one aisle, take a picture of it, blow that bad boy up life size, and then just slap it over all the other aisles? Boom. Because there'd be no pros to buy. Look, Marcus. Just make the place look as good as possible before Jeff gets here. Wait, Jeff is coming today. Yep. Yeah. Hey. Hey. What this is trailer going on here? Place oh, doesn't have a bathroom. I can't shower in the mornings because Cliff in the adjoining trailer only oh. takes baths. Oh. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do, huh? <laughs> it's, it's just... That was your cue to say, go on then, I'll take you in. Someone who will let me stay with them. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Mo. Garrett doesn't feel awkwardness with Jonah, does he? What'd you say? Only with Dina. Huh? Oh, I I thought you said something. Mm. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Alright. He's gonna have to beg him, isn't he? Mandel. I was told to be here at 11. 
Oh, you're working here. I hate when they don't tell me about new hires. Okay, find yourself a vest and a name tag and go help Leonard in produce. Oh, Sorry is about that. Is he, the, is he opening the place? I'm Howie he famous. Mandel. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know him if he's famous. He's here to cut the ribbon, right? <laughs> Dina thinks he's a worker. America's got talent? I don't know what you're yeah. asking me. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Of all the people to bump into first, Dina. Don't sigh. I can hear you sighing. Go ahead. Okay, we let's don't have time to restock a whole shelf. Sometimes I think the whole world's incompetent. You're the only one who's incompetent, Clem. Well, actually, this still, that's not true. My speech? Well, yeah, I mean... Oh, this is going to send him over the edge. The stress. Obviously. <laughs> not today, Earl. Amy's definitely more of a manager than Glenn, certainly. Maybe he couldn't hear you over the tornado. Well, I don't even know if I want him to have heard me. It's complicated. My boyfriend Jerry got hit in the head by a mailbox during a tornado. He's been in a coma ever since. I visit him every day to read to him. We're on the fifth Harry Potter book. Oh, you know what we could do? <laughs> Maybe we could do a test in front of one of those big fans to see if he could hear you. Oh, Sandra. He's off the breathing tube. That's oh my god. <laughs> okay, I need three of you to help me unload a truck. Don, Marcus, and Myrtle. Meet me in back in five. <laughs> The way she said Mel was like, we need about 10 of you, Mel. I heard about your living situation, and if you want, oh. you can crash with me. Oh, we got those. Living together, partying hard, luring said yes, ladies Marcus. back to the pad. <laughs> I'm sorry, luring? <laughs> it's rapey. Please, ladies, one at a time. One at a time, as in there's, there's two of us and one of them? <laughs> oh, God. No. <laughs> 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 his face. I'm supposed to give a speech later, and I'm a little nervous about it. You don't say. Your voice. What? No. <laughs> no. Given that I didn't prepare anything. What's wrong with my voice? It's not big voice. Nice voice. Um, some people, <laughs> not me, but some people might find your voice, octave-wise, to be the teeniest, tiniest bit high. Who? Uh, anyone with ears. <laughs> It's everybody. <laughs> That's a check. <laughs> Hi, I'm Glenn. This is my voice. How come no one ever told me that I sounded like that? <laughs> that's the first time he said his own voice. <laughs> That's not how I sound on the inside. Do I have a weird voice? Yeah, it's preposterous. <laughs> you can always rely on Dina to tell the truth. You two should go right now and pick them up. What? Uh, together? Two. Mm. Alone together. Round two. Nobody knows where Brett is. Oh shit! He's still missing. Do you want to listen to a podcast? Yes, definitely. Sure. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> Testing it. I'm just doing a test. I don't even really know how I feel about it for sure. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> There's nothing like imminent death to say something you didn't mean to say, right? <laughs> Look at she's she's us. got him in cloud An hour nine. Ago, I had no idea who Uniform. you were, and now we're flirting. <laughs> flirting. <laughs> it's fast. We kissed, and now everything's awkward and loaded, and I don't know how to be around you. Is that the conversation you want to have? Didn't think so. Welcome you to cloud nine. <laughs> oh, God, he's got a voice changer. What do you think? Uh, try saying we have your son a million dollars or he dies. A million dollars or he dies. That's tight. <laughs> hey guys. Excited for the big day? Wow, he's got inside. a wig. Toupe. Oh god. That's a bad idea, dude. Right here? Yeah. You would say he's gonna go off him instantly. Beautiful rug. Good <laughs> for him. Beautiful rug. <laughs> no, no, no. To welcome you to Cloud Nine. Just back out. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Glenn. That was beautiful. My God, you so different. Performing is a whole different negotiation. So, uh, thank, thank you, everybody. everybody. Jesus Christ. He's in it for the money, this dude. Of course. Why else would you be here? Get on well with Peter, as it turned out. As you get together. <laughs> Just smashing the products. <laughs> oh, God. That's safe, I'm sure. Can you tell other people's jokes? No. Copyright, Glenn. I don't know any. <laughs> I don't know any. Banana, beep, boop, bop, bop, boop. I'm getting divorced. Okay. 
I'm here, you know, if you ever want to talk or... Oh. You, you want to have sex? Uh... I'm joking! <laughs> Obviously, you're jo- I knew you were- Was well, she? <laughs> Are you blushing? Big time, yeah. <laughs> I have to take this. It's Chad. Your ex, Chad? Yes. We got back together. Hey, sweetie. Mm. It's really oh. like, it's pronounced Zumba, okay? And your toupee, it's garbage. <laughs> you look like a fry cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's Mateo all over, isn't it? <laughs> oh, they did do Okay, <laughs> God, I was so confused there. They did uh, Marcus's suggestion. <laughs> Jacob is really quiet, but in a scary way. Sometimes you wake up and he's just standing over you. Gareth's yeah, gonna right, cave. You can stay with me. <laughs> I'm definitely not sure, yeah. but whatever. <laughs> oh. They'd be good together, these two. Do not touch my video game stuff. No talking during Game of Thrones. No cooking <laughs> fish. I do not like fragrant stuff. Already regret it. On Wednesday, my black friends come over, so do not be around. <laughs> what else? Parking spots. You don't get one. <laughs> that was a really good opener. That was really good. When um, Amy said, do you want to have sex? I mean, she was joking right in the end, as it turned out, but you could always say that. That was actually, that'd be a clever kind of way to find out like how into me is he you know does it well obviously he wants to <laughs> she knows that anyway but you know what i mean like if he just said yeah if she wanted to that would be a clever way to do it because if he just said yes she gets what she wants if she does want that which she probably does they both do and yeah with the silence it gave her answer and she could just ah i was only joking you know <laughs> but yeah that was good yeah, so it was easier for them to talk to each other when they couldn't actually see each other in the face, look at each other in the face, right? That made sense. Glenn, stressing out already. It's only the first episode. He's worse than ever. My God, he I thought for a second he was having a heart attack in one of the previous episodes when he was off the juice, right? And he was feeling lightheaded. I feel like he might eventually have one, honestly. He gets so stressed. It's what happens when you're A, not suited to the role, and let's be honest, he's the least suited to that role. Ever. I'm not talking about the actor, the, you know, as a, Glenn as a manager. I mean, even as a supervisor, I think he would stress over that, you know, it'd be too much for him, even that job. So, yeah, for that reason, he's stressed. But also, he, he doesn't want to be there, does he? Well, he wants to be there. He's got, well, he thinks he's made friends. He probably has, actually. They probably do like him, but maybe with the exception of Dina. <laughs> But um, Dina doesn't like anyone though, so that's fine. But yeah, I feel like rather than not wanting to be there, he doesn't want, he doesn't like the job, does he? Doesn't like the job. So the position and the job itself, he doesn't like either of them, and he's probably still got resentment from when they shut down his um, hardware store, right? His family's business. So yeah, I think if anyone is going to have a heart attack in this show ever, I think he'd be number one on the list. I worry for him. Um, good to see Myrtle because she was hanging on. In that last episode, so I'm glad she didn't get sucked up. But Brett, man, Jesus Christ, never to be seen again. I said, is that going to be the joke? And it could be. Like, he was a good part. He was really funny. He didn't need to say a lot. So maybe it'll be missing that. But if that, you know, if, if he's gone now. But maybe I've got, I've got a feeling that he might show up somewhere. I don't know. Maybe he was kind of, I don't know how close this is to the coast, but swept out to sea or something. He's on some sort of. I don't know, makeshift raft or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of something funny, what they could do with it. How would he show up? Or maybe, you know, took the opportunity to have some time off. I don't know. My God, two months without pay. That is quite accurate, probably. I mean, well, it's not because they wouldn't get away with that. But in terms of, um, well, they wouldn't in this country. Maybe in the US, I don't know. You could let me know. But... Yeah, in terms of the retail industry, if they could, they'd get away with it. Sorry, if they could get away with it, they would, right? They wouldn't pay them. So that kind of makes sense. But yeah, I'm glad Marcus is back. I'm really pleased about that. I thought deep down, I thought surely, because he's such a good character, he's got to be back. And he was, thank God. We haven't seen any of the other people that were fired. The guy that does the drugs, I think he was fired. The one who was under the table with um, Marcus, uh, with... Um, Mateo in the finale. We didn't see him. 
and Justine, is it? I think she may have been fired, the blonde-haired lady who supposedly, well, tries to act like a drinker and a slut as well, and she's just none of those things, yeah. So maybe she's gone. So maybe it's this Marcus they rehired. I don't know why, of all people. I mean, I know why for the show, because he's a good character, but I don't know why anyone would want to rehire Marcus. Once you've finally got rid of him, that's a relief, isn't it? You don't want to take him back. Jesus. Um. Yeah, so Jonah dodged a bullet with him. He doesn't want to move in with Marcus. Luring women. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't even surprised. I mean, that's Marcus, isn't it? Jesus Christ. So Garrett, yeah, I thought he was finally going to... I don't know if I mentioned that, but I was thinking it. He was going to wear him down. And the thing is about Garrett, He's got a, he has got a conscience, but it takes a lot to kind of bring it out of him. We kind of saw that in the Black Friday episode, didn't we? When he kind of said, well, I'm going to go back out there kind of thing and do my job, you know. So he is conscientious and he, he does he does have feelings. We've seen that with Dina and yeah, he acts like he doesn't. But he kind of, he's not the, he doesn't have the deepest feelings in the world, but he does the right thing, I think, Gary. I think he's a nice guy, is what I'm trying to say. And yeah, you could see it coming that he was eventually going to relent and let Jonah into his life. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's got some rules for Jonah there, hasn't he? Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, really good. I enjoyed it. Yeah. So kind of back where we were with Amy and Jonah now after that scene at the end. So I was kind of thinking that um, would be the case because there's a long way to go in the show still. And I still think those two are the big thing of the show. Even though now she's getting a divorce, I'm sure everyone saw that coming eventually. So it's not, it, it, there's, there's been something taken away from that now. The fact that she's getting a divorce, they've already kissed, they're joking about sex. So they can do a lot with it still. They, can, they still can because they can go on dates and stuff, you know. I don't think they're going to yet, but they still can in the future. Something could possibly happen that stops them getting together for a while, that would work. And then it would be like round two of them, will they, won't they, maybe. I don't know. So I'm intrigued about that. I mean, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a big romance, does there? There doesn't have to be. But there still is one. They're bubbling under the surface. But it's much more, sort of, there's been a lot more progression now. So I don't know how they're going to handle it from here out, but it'd be something to keep my eye on. Yeah, looking forward to seeing what they do with it. So... Yeah, good one. Really funny, really funny one. That's the main thing. I'm pleased it was at least as good as the other episodes, the good episodes I've seen. So, yeah, I'm hoping it stays like this throughout the whole show. I think it probably will because the writers, even though I've said before that every show goes downhill and it, it will a little bit, I'm sure, a little bit. But with the writers, as long as they can keep hold of the, writer, the, the writers, because the writing is really good and a lot of the characters, if they, if they lose a bunch of characters, that would be difficult. But if they have the writers and the characters, the show, the way it's set up, it's perfect. So, yeah, they can maintain it, I think. On second thought, they can maintain it. So I'm hoping they will. And good start. Good start to the new season. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. And hopefully you'll join me for episode number two. See you then. See ya. Bye.